Hello, everybody. Welcome to video episode number 18 of the 90 Day Video Challenge. Uh, recently, I've been getting asked a lot in email and text about LinkedIn groups on iPad. I know a lot of you have been going through my course and wanting to use your iPad to join groups on LinkedIn. And, you know, common sense will tell you to be able to join groups on your iPhone or your iPad. But to be honest with you, that's not really the case. You can't. You can't do it in the app anyways. So I have a little video here, actually a quick little workaround. So you can join groups on your iPad with, um, but you got to go outside of the app, unfortunately. Uh, I think that LinkedIn will eventually rectify the situation, but they, as it stands right now, you just can't do it. So anyways, here it is. I uh, pull it up on my iPad for you and show you the little workaround, and I hope it helps. And as always, if you like this video and you find it informative, please click like and like the video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and of course, find me on all the social networks. And I want you to know that I will answer any question you have out there related to inbound marketing, content marketing, marketing in general. Feel free to ask me. I have uh, plenty of uh, time to build new videos for you and give you answers to your potential challenges. Anyways, let's check this out real quick. Okay, so here we are at the iPad and we have our app for LinkedIn right here. And that's what we're going to be talking about. The app for LinkedIn is a little different than the app for the iPhone. I think the one for the iPhone is much better than the one for uh, the iPad. And you would think it'd be the opposite because you have more real estate uh, and more things you can do, more functionality, you know, just because of the, again, back to the real estate of your viewing area. But that's really not the case. They've done a much better job with their LinkedIn uh, iPhone app than on their iPad app. But the purpose of this video is to show you a little workaround on how to join groups from your iPhone or iPad. Um, again, LinkedIn, for some reason, really dropped the ball in the fact that you cannot easily join a group on your LinkedIn app. And that's weird. I, I don't know why they they would do that. LinkedIn 99.9% .9 of the time is like a spectacular uh, network. They've done a really good job with their apps, but in this case, they have dropped the ball. So let's go and just take a quick look. I'm touching on the LinkedIn app now, opening it up. And as you can see, it's just three main areas when you first get in here. All your updates, you, which for some reason doesn't pull in. It should pull in a picture of me. I don't know why it's not. And then um, your messages, your mailbox. And you have your search up top here in the top right. But then you have your settings and then your LinkedIn button. Now, that LinkedIn button is always brings you back here to this home page, if you will. So if you want to access your groups, it's not intuitive. It doesn't show you real quick like how to access your groups. So here's how you access your groups on your iPad. You go to All Updates. You touch on this, and it pulls up All Updates. So you have your LinkedIn icon here, and then this right icon right here to the right of that you touch on that that is what shows you that drop down box okay now under here you have all updates co-workers LinkedIn today which has some different uh, piece of information that you're interested in uh, and you set that up yourself then you have groups if you hit the actual icon this groups icon it'll pull all the data for all the groups and you can scroll through all the information at once that's kind of nice if you just want to go through all your groups but if you wanted to go after a specific group such as like B2B online, and that's what I'll do right now, and only look at that group and the data, the discussions going on in that group, you just click that by touching it. And then of course that pulls that up. So here we are under the B2B online group section. I'm just gonna scroll, touch on my computer screen. That part's nice, it's like um, Flipboard. In a sense, it's just a simple you know, slide motion. I'm gonna pick on my own little post here, down here in the bottom left corner. I'm gonna to touch on that. And it pulls information up. Now you have you know different uh, group discussions going on over here, and you can hide that just by clicking this up here. I'll do that and just focus on the post. You can like the post, comment, or you have share functionality over here as well. But again, I cannot join any groups inside of this, even though I can access the groups, I can't join. So what you want to do is try to join your groups from your computer screen. But if you really wanted to join groups, from your iPad, you still can. So how do we do that? 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to escape out or close out of my app by hitting the home button. I'm back here. I'm going to go down here to Safari and touch that. And as you can see, here's my LinkedIn. Just like you'd see on your computer screen, um, it's the same thing. But still, there's kind of limited functionality here that kind of upsets me because I'm like it shouldn't be this way. Normally, what you would do is you'd come up here, you have this drop down. If I clicked on this drop down, right there, I see groups. Now, if I wanted to join groups, you would think that you would be able just to touch that or touch companies or whatever you want to access on your iPad. But for some reason, it will not let you. So I'm going to touch that groups. And as you can see, it doesn't take me anywhere. So I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe if I double tap that, what if I double clicked it? Maybe that'll take me there. I did that. Nothing. Now what? How do you do it? So what I've found is come over here to groups and you just touch on that. Okay. Now, if you come to groups directory, you can see your groups, of course, if you want, or groups you may like, but touch group directory like so. Now, for some amazing reason, it'll take you to them. <laughs> so here's our groups directory. And you have your search functionality just like you would on your normal desktop computer. I'm just going to scroll here a little bit just to show you over here on the side, all your search functions. Or you can type right in here. Like Let's say I wanted to um, look up CPA firms, for instance, or manufacturing companies. I'll just do CPA firms. I'll just type in CPA. Let's say I just wanted to target them and join their groups. Or I might be a CPA, which I'm not. That's what I would do. And boom, it pulls them all up. And of course, I can just click on touch on join and I can join that group. So pretty, it's, it's a workaround. That's all I can say. It's, it's not that um, easy. Uh, it's easy, but it's not that intuitive, I should say. So anyways, that is the simple workaround process that I recommend to join groups if you want to access it from your iPad. Otherwise, I'd say join groups right from your computer. Um, and then once you're in the groups, again, I'm going to go back to my home screen. I'm going to touch on LinkedIn app. Um, if you want to join groups and participate in conversations, you can clearly do that just by uh, accessing your groups, as I said before, right up here. And, um, you know, access the group that you're interested in joining. Anyways, so that's it. I hope that helps you. I know it's probably not the answer n none of us wanted. Um, we wanted to have a simple little answer within the app itself, but there isn't one. Not yet. LinkedIn's very good at updating, though, and I, I do assume that they will eventually rectify that and fix that for us. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. So that's it. You really can't do it from your iPad application for LinkedIn. You can't join groups there, but you can do it through your web browser, and I know it's a workaround, I know it's a pain in the butt, but for the most part, if you just go onto your computer, go into your LinkedIn account and join all the groups that you primarily want to belong to, that you're going to be utilizing in your inbound marketing strategy, um, from then on out, you can access from your iPhone and iPad, participate in discussions, uh, build relationships, build connections. It should be no, little, uh, no problems there. It's just a little hiccup in the road. Uh, from LinkedIn, but no big deal. Not that you can't overcome this. So anyways, I hope this video was very beneficial to you. I hope I answered your questions out there related to joining groups on your iPad and iPhone. And as always, I look forward to hearing from you. It like brightens up my day. I want to hear feedback. Give me uh, feedback on these videos. If you like them, don't like them. Um, what you want to see in the next video. And remember, this 90-day this video challenge is, is about how to create content quickly for your audience. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. You need to think about how you can start either, you know, creating blog posts, doing videos, you know, doing a podcast, something that you're comfortable with and communicating with your marketplace, your audience. So, um, again, I hope this was beneficial to you. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and find me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, uh, Facebook. Uh, if, and of course, YouTube here at Norman Wright Jr. Until video number 19, I'll talk to you later. Take care.